the other person can have with your red mark or a scratch. Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is David Kohlmeyer, The Problem Solver. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're having an amazing event at the Sticky Paws Studio. Social Register is an event for networking. We're having some amazing people here. Um, today I have a co-host, which is John Orlando, the legend, the guru, <laughs> the podcast king. Uh, John, thanks so much for you co-hosting know, we, tonight. We've never once talked about you're on the cover of this magazine. We never said it one time. It's okay. I'm the problem solver. You don't need to talk about that. I'm just, I'm just solving problems. That's all, all right. I do. Fine. But, uh, but thank impressive. you for bringing that up. I just knocked your chips over. It's okay. It's all right. Today we have an amazing, a lovely lady here. Her name is Mary Grace. Iniguez. 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 I can see I'm saying it wrong again. See, I told you. Iniguez. <laughs> Mary Grace is a beautiful name. It's very graceful. So we'll say Mary thank Grace. You. She's the owner and CEO of Social Register Network. And she basically is running this show here at Sticky Paw Studio today, having amazing people. I think the turnout must have been about. About Could 65. be 60 people, right? 65 65? people. That's a lot of yeah. people. We've never had that many here. Really? Nobody comes here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're no, gonna because have to you know, they that. just come in and do their show. So you know, we don't really, yeah. we don't really, we've only done one one other event. We did right? a single de Mayo. We did, and there right. was probably about thirty people that yeah. showed up. Okay. But um, definitely different people here. Their yeah, this was networking. great was tonight. Good, you know? This was really cool. Way better than I than I thought because I was gun shy because of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, we're gonna throw a party. No one's coming. And, I think uh, also, but Mary brought the crowd. Mary brought the pain. So Mary brings, I mean, she has social register network, which John did not really know about prior. And I want you to explain a little bit about it because I've been part of it maybe about two or three years. Yeah. And uh, she probably knows my membership date. Um, tell us a little bit social register for, for the people that have never heard about it. Yeah. So social register network is a platform and community exclusively for industry leaders, business owners, and entrepreneurs. So we provide the networking, the business resources, and the education to help you grow and scale your business. So that's where the networking comes in. It's all about building relationships, but then we also offer workshops, seminars, summits to really provide that education to help business owners grow and scale their business. It's amazing because you know a lot of people draw. I mean, just you know, uh, John, I recently met about six months ago. It was on Tinder. And <laughs> wow. I met him six months ago and it was love at first podcast and long story short, you know, he's been a guru in podcasting and I, this, you know, someone said it before early today that like this was going to be the year of the podcast. And for me, mm. I've wanted to do it for maybe about a year or two. And I said for January, you know, 2021, I need to do a podcast. I need to organically basically have people on a show and do things. I had a vision and then I happened to meet John and basically, you know, he's been helping me. So I think it's important to have guidance and people helping just like yourself networking and building relationships you know a lot of people just don't know even what that means like what does it mean to network you know like do i bring a card do i not bring a card do i sell myself do i you know what do i do in general so what do most people like i'm brand new what do you explain to people like because it sounds great what you're saying but what does that really mean to a person that knows nothing and they just open a business yeah, so what makes us different from any other organization is we really focus on creating meaningful connections, creating that community. And if you are new in the networking game, we teach you how to ditch that business card. So I know that's one of the first things you purchase when mm -hmm. you start your business. You're like, oh, let me get 500 business cards. Well, we teach you to ditch the business card only because um, I feel like when you have the business card, you tend to do this and you lose out on that human to human connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we teach you how to create meaningful connections, connect in a different level, human to human. Yep. How can I support you? What are your passions? What are some challenges that you're going through in your business that I can support you? Who are your ideal clients? Yeah. So then I could bring those people to you. So networking, I think, has a stigma around the word because people used to do it so wrong. Yeah. Like the card makes you go for volume. Yeah. Right. And you're you, like, you play the card out. game. I mm -hmm. gave out all my cards and, yeah. but you don't even remember the next day. No. Any of those people, you look at those cards and you're like, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. Or even three months from then, right? You visit the box of cards you have yeah. and you're like, I don't know. You know, it's interesting with the cards. Well, first of all, this, I don't know how many people we've interviewed tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was like 10, 12. I've asked everybody for a card, which is funny. Today, I recently saw your thing. It's yeah. a, you know, hashtag ditch your card, right? It's mm -hmm. hashtag ditch your card. This guy likes hashtags. So long story short, I've asked everyone for a card. Some people have had it, some people don't. And basically, I just wanted to keep them in general. But it was funny. Some people don't have it. One person had a digital business card. Yeah. I loved that. That was Candice. Which, which is interesting. See, I remember that. Which is interesting because you have to fill it out to send it back in. 
you know, to send your information to her, which was kind of interesting. Um, but one thing I like these days is like I have a progressive web app where if I if you scan the QR code, which I have, mm -hmm. it, it goes to your phone and then I ask you to add it to your home screen. And I feel the picture and I'll even show you here. I actually really like this because you because my pictures let's say would be on the phone. I don't do it for me, but for my wife. If you look at it real carefully, uh, my wife has an app. It's a progressive app, and her photo is basically on the app. So to me, you will remember her because on the app itself, basically, if you're Camille, you'll see her picture. You yeah, can remember. People don't mind looking at your wife. They don't want to look at us on their phone. Well, you could do a little bit like like <laughs> with my magazine. You could do a little bit of Photoshop. You know, right, look right. Younger. <laughs> yeah, that's so, good. The bottom line is I just think I really do like the app. So you could basically do the QR code yep. and say, add me to your home screen. Now, yeah. you may wind up having 100, you know, if you go to social register, social register every month for networking, mm -hmm. then you may have 500 faces here. But right. I think these days it's like Facebook, Messenger, you know. But I do like the app situation because you can do push notifications and so on. Yep. And then after event, um, you know, you may forget the person so it's on there. But I will share with you what I've done recently with business cards and most people don't. I have an assistant recently that's been helping, like a virtual assistant, and I'll save all the cards and I'll give it to her and she'll make a list of cell phone numbers so you can text all the people or you can email the people. Now, most people probably don't do this, but I think you need to make an Excel spreadsheet of names and phone numbers and even what they do, like what profession is, because right. you forget you meet what so many What they do, people. where you met them, you know. Yeah. So I'll even put comments and I have her basically set that up and then if I want to have an event, I can text them all or email them. Right. People say email is dead and then texting people is a better way of doing these days. But anyway, I'm just sharing a little bit of of what you should be doing with the business cards. I do believe in progressive web apps and I do believe in building the relationship, but when you meet so many people, it's like hard to keep track. Yeah. You know? Well, so Candice, she showed you that app yes. um, or that QR code. That's actually something Social Register um, not enforces, but every time someone registers for our event, they receive a confirmation email that tells them to download that app. So the reason why we implemented that because we don't want people to start passing out their business cards. We want them to connect. And then if you feel that you align and you want to connect further, then you pull out your phone and it's like, hey, scan my QR code and let's yep. connect. I got a better idea for you in the future. I like that. Um, which I do like a lot. That you should have every person that comes to an event, let them wear a QR code like pin oh. or the sticker. So if you like the person, you scan it and right. it'll show up on their phone. Instead of giving the business card, right, you're going to use your phone. Like, oh, you know what? I got your information. But then you have people who are still in that old, you know, old that mindset, old, yeah. mi old mindset. Saying, and then they just start scanning everybody. <laughs> right. It's yeah. like that. It's, you're just replacing yeah, a thing. problem with technology uh, yeah. as a different version of it. It's like yeah. a dating event years ago, if you remember the lock and key parties. Did you ever hear those no. parties in New York City? Um, you'd wear, the girls would wear locks, uh, a necklace. They'd give you a, a necklace with a lock. And all the guys would get keys. And you have to go around and talk to all the different women and yeah. try your key with the lock. And oh, whoever basically yeah. wins, because there's one key only fits, wins like $500. Mm. But it forces you to meet different yeah. women. So it's called lock and key parties. It's actually a website. Oh, that's that interesting. That. So it's kind of cute. But I'm saying with a QR code, it could be an interesting yeah. social register game. Yeah. I've seen um, like that speed would. dating essentially at a network event. And that's kind of cool. Like, you know, it's like you get whatever. One minute or something. Two minutes with yeah. someone, whatever. And they just keep rotating. You know, that's kind of a cool way to do it because at least it forces you to talk. So it's, we do it that. It breaks the ice for people. Yeah. That don't like the because some people just they just can't go walk, walk up to someone like some people just have a there's a wall there you know yeah you're right so we actually offer that in person mm -hmm. and virtually because we are nationwide we offer the virtual speed networking so we do breakout rooms one on one and you have about five to six minutes with each person to connect so you have social register uh, everywhere yeah so we are national wow. And so you and you are just here, like you own you're the, you're Vegas the chapter. whole ball of wax. I own the entire organ. My husband wow. and I own That's the incredible. entire organization. So yeah. is that that must be hard to? How do you do? You still fly around in like different cities to do events yourself? Because well, how many states are you active in right now? So we are virtually nationwide. Got it. And we have an active chapter in Las Vegas, in DC, and then November in Orange County. That's very cool. So in DC, we just recently flew out there, but each of my chapters are ran by a chapter president. And you basically try to find the you in a different city. Exactly. And you do that by interviewing tons of people, I would imagine, exactly. right? Exactly. Because they're an extension of, of the brand, right? And really yeah. you. They have to share the same vision. Right. Yeah. Wow, that's probably tough to do. It is, but um, you'll be very surprised that there's a lot of people who actually believe in the vision and want to create meaningful connections and, and crush the stigma. Yeah, it's a genius idea, really, because, you know, it's like 
um, you're probably like me. Uh, you certainly are like me over the years. Like you're, you're a dot connector by nature, right? And the hardest thing to do prior to you founding this company was probably monetizing your contact list, right? Like, or no, like it's so hard to do. Like my dad used to always say to me, like, how do we bottle you up and sell you? Cause I have so many like <laughs> cool people in my phone that I've amassed over 25, 30 years of just being in business and doing stand up and traveling, whatever. But it's like, it's tough to like, what's the one thing that I, you can do to, to, you know, leverage knowing so many people and having so many contacts and you've, you've figured it out, you know, how to, turn networking into, uh, you know, an actual event that makes sense. Not just a lot of people use the word, yeah. right? But the events suck, right? Because it's just like, they're just, they're preying on the people's like want and fear of, I need to network. I need, right. So they, it's a networking event and they yeah. just leave it at that, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it is what we all know what it is. It's drinks and food and clicky. It's very clicky yeah. and nothing really gets done. <laughs> right. But your event, as I witnessed firsthand just now, um, for the last, whatever, three, four hours, um, it was packed for four hours. I mean, a, they all showed up early mm -hmm. and they all left late. When does that happen? For that a length of time, like don't, that's make, her, a, don't make her so cocky. Though. No, but really, you know, yeah, the point, price. Don't need <laughs> By the way, I hate bad news <laughs> for you. Your membership's three hundred dollars more next year. <laughs> um, but do you know what I mean? And that's really a testament to you because you figured out how to how to crack that code. Thank you, thank yeah. you. But I didn't found the company, so okay. I actually purchased it when it was just Social Register Las Vegas, and I purchased it right before the pandemic. Wow. So we went into the pandemic. I already had a vision to go national, and it was just my time to do it during the pandemic. So that's what we did. Um, but I think really what creates that, that whole quality of individuals who want to create meaningful connections is our team and the way we market it and mm -hmm. really just enforcing it um, into the community and building a community. I think that's what it is. It's really the community like factor. You know, one thing I want to share with you, I know this is not the place, but I'm just going to share with you because you got me Is this a shameless about. plug coming? <laughs> Are you about to do a shameless yeah. plug? Well, a little bit because she says network. <laughs> so the problem solver, me being a retired cop, you know, basically I'm not a lawyer and I don't, I don't, I don't play one on TV. And the bottom line is, is that I have people that call me all the time that need lawyers, you know, mm -hmm. and basically because I'm a cop, I can give like resources and they, I guide them. Right. So basically we made the Las Vegas legal network. Here's my little casino chip, as you know, yeah. of. but long story short, my goal is to go you know, nationwide in every state and then the cities. Right. So mm -hmm. I like so you're like in Washington, D.C. I would want the Washington, D.C. legal network. Yes. So maybe I need to like be the parasite onto you. Yeah, we need to connect further. <laughs> because I want to do every state because I feel like people need help. And I do. Yeah. I'm passionate just like you are. He's passionate with podcasts. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're passionate with network. And donuts. I'm passionate with, with what? Podcasts and donuts. And donuts. Very passionate. And I'm donuts. passionate with basically helping people. And I really do enjoy it. It's a high for me. Yeah. Um, so the bottom line is I wanted to, my, my vision is to have the network throughout the United States. And actually I have a toll-free number, which is 1-844-LAWYERS, but it's nationwide. So like if you call from... You know, area code two and three, it can go to an attorney in two and three. Or maybe it's just going to be a national number and it'll say, oh, are you calling for DC? All mm -hmm. right, great. What kind of lawyer do you need? And being more of a referral network of good people, people that are going to return the call and really help people and also provide some free services. So just like you, you're doing a lot of different things in general, but you know, getting me excited when you're talking about the whole network thing, I probably every state that you go to probably I need to start going with and yes. carry her bags. I would ride her coattails if I were you. Yeah. Well, we yeah. tell members that everywhere we go, you go. Like yeah. That. So what else do you want to share? I know you have any upcoming events. I mean, the bottom line is they'll go to your website. There is a small membership, which is, I think, very reasonable for whatever you're paying. Mm -hmm. What I mean, not that I talk about pricing, but what is it normally for a year a membership these days? Um, so for just community, just your local chapter, mm -hmm. it's four ninety five a year Got or forty nine dollars a month. That's awesome. Nationwide, if you want to go to the different chapters and access virtually, it's nine hundred ninety five dollars a year or ninety nine dollars a month. As we add more chapters, that price will increase, of course. Sure, yeah. you got to get it when it's low. Yeah. Make sure you send John Orlando a package so I can sign him up. I'll pay for it because he needs to be a member. Okay. So, um, That's verbally binding. Verbally binding. Everything's verbally binding all day today. <laughs> so um, what are the next events that you have coming up? I already told her that I'd like to do another event here at Sticky Puzz. And then yes. yeah. she's telling me March. To talk yeah. about she. Talk about the takeaway. She's March. Like, she's like, this is the next one I got what? to do is March. March. <laughs> it's like a takeaway, you know? Yeah. She's March. She's March. That is our earliest opening. So, so we're you do, one, on. you do one a month? 
We do a mixer like what we did today every single month. Right. And next month it's at Pro Group uh, Management. It's at our office as well. And then in October it's at the Foundation Room foundation room at the Mandalay Bay and then November um, it's I believe at the Mob Museum and then we always do something special for December and then January I have a venue February and that's why March is the next one available that March yeah I can't even get in I yeah April's even booked I someone do, just didn't want March <laughs> I do think <laughs> watch 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 me do a little selling okay <laughs> You should do the podcast component that Sticky Paws would be more than happy to help provide the service. But you should do the podcast component everywhere you go. Because Ooh. it's a really good way to, you know, A, it's a perfect extension of, of the networking, right? Because you're giving, like, what we just did with however many people we had is, it was short. It's hard to crunch it in 10 minutes, right? Like, the where are you from? What are you all about? And, and yeah. get something mean, meaningful content. But I think it does show people the gateway uh, it could be the gateway drug for like you need to have a podcast if you're in business period you need to either sponsor one or you need to have one yeah or both and i think it's it becomes an even if they didn't turn it into a podcast the 10 minute piece of content we have with them they can put on their instagram they can put and it's a good way it's one thing content. for it's yeah. like you know you do a lot of work with like richard harris right it's like it's one thing for richard harris to do a commercial and he says like i'm richard harris whatever mm -hmm. and da, 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 da. great Right. But if you and I are talking about Richard Harris or someone that's hired Richard Harris, it's way more powerful. That one minute is better than 10 minutes of him talking. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's something that that these events could benefit from by having a podcast. And whether you did it with us or not, it doesn't matter. But like you could easily like, what do you really need? You don't even need me, to be honest. Grab two mics and and one camera. You don't have to have five cameras, you, you know, and you could still make really valuable content and I think it would be a good thing. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great component to add to right. the event. I mean, everyone loved it right. coming in here. Right. And like you said, people were excited to peek in and see yeah. what, what, it, what it was all about. I think yeah. it's also, um, I think people enjoy the experiences when I get out of it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I will say this. I mean, I think that myself, and John's been doing this for a long period of time. I think we have good characters and talking yeah. to people, yeah. building relationships. You don't want someone dry. I mean, right. maybe it's something that we do to yeah. help out. I know? think it would be cool because, you know, a lot of times, like, you know, the social media is such a big piece of mm -hmm. your marketing, right? Especially but the these, hardest these thing to do, and I, have, I yell at him all the time. It's like the <laughs> hardest thing to do is what do I post? Right, especially if you're camera shy to begin with, you're not really comfortable. No one's comfortable in selfie mode, <laughs> right? Except mm -hmm. the pint-sized warrior. Um, but you, you know what I mean? It's like it's really uncomfortable. Like, okay, I'm gonna make a piece of content now. What am I gonna say? They freeze up. Where this solves that problem for Agreed. them, yeah. And it and it we can lead them down the path of promoting themselves without, without it looking like self-promotion. It's just an interview. You're just, you know, we're making them the star for 10 minutes. Yeah. And I think it's a good way to make them shine. To share with you something, because I mean, I always saw value of it. He did a marathon for 24 hours when he came over to the studio. Whoa. It was 24 hours live. He uh, asked on my, my action I said, show. I said to him, yeah. what time can I come on? I was hoping he was just at <laughs> six, right? He said, Honestly, the only, he's like you. He's like 3 a.m. Yeah, that was the only <laughs> slot I had. I said, I got 3 a.m. So I was like, I yeah. was in my mind, because it was a new relationship, I was like, you know what? I really want to go on the show. It'll mm -hmm. be good for me. I'll have content. I can promote it. I'm like, 3 a.m. is crazy. I'm like, you know, I'll go home, I'll sleep, I'll get like a Red Bull, I'll shower, I'll shave. Yeah. I came at 3 a.m. I thought I actually, you know, I didn't tell you. You this. stayed till 6, though, right? About 6.30. Yeah. But one thing I'll tell you, it's funny. The other guy that was here, what's his name? High Life guy, what was his name? Oh, um, Alex Wilson. Alex, Bet Life yeah. Sports. Bet Life, yeah. Yep. The other guy was here. I was actually a little bit upset because I thought it was going to be like me and him, but there's another guy who was here. It worked out well anyway. Yeah. Because um, he's a nice guy in general. But I, I stayed from 3 a.m. to 6.30 in the morning. Wow. And I had a fun time doing it. And by I, the way, the same thing happened with him. He was supposed to just come for an hour. And then what happens is, it's <laughs> it's at that point, it's 3 a.m. Where else are you going to go? You got yeah. too much adrenaline. You can't even go home and go to sleep even <laughs> if you think you can. Once you do an hour of talking at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're screwed. You're not going to bed till mm -hmm. a few hours. Or you got to unwind from it because it is really a, a rush. It's a high. So, yeah, we yeah. ended up with a nice so, conversation. So it was actually a fun event. It creates content in general. And then... Um, but the other thing is, he always tells me to do TikTok and do videos, but it is weird with the selfie part. I have no problem talking. I could do videos. I could be on TV. But like, I feel like when you do the selfie, like you watch me today, like with the kids and yeah. the donuts. So I'm good. You know, I'm kind of, not that I feel safe with it. I just feel like I'm always trying to become creative content. Like I did one, Joe Biden was eating ice cream and I'm like, where's right. the best ice cream place? Right? <laughs> I'm always trying to engage people or, you know, try to be somewhat comical or what the new trend, you know, mm -hmm. is. 
But when you do videos, you gotta like come up with some content. So right. he's always on top of me, and I, I haven't got to that but level yet. But I just need to I do know, it. but it's a, you know. Do you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is? Yes. So okay, so I'm friends with Gary, mm -hmm. and I've known him a long time, and um. You know, he's. If you follow him, you've heard him say, "Document versus create." It once you get that in your head, document versus create. When you sit down and go, "Okay, I'm going to make a video," you're screwed. It's too hard. I mean, yes, there's a food group of people that can do it, but for the most part, people can't do it. You know, George Carmona back there can do it. He can just he can all of a sudden you can put the camera on him and he can just fly. But most people can't do it that way. You know, so if you document versus create, and in your case, like you know, you'll post a uh, you know uh, got a you'll 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 post a picture of two cars that got in an accident you'll be like you know had an accident need a lawyer da, da, da. and i always say to you that's great that can be a piece of your social media but now give me the video of you talking about that hey everybody yeah. you know i just want david colmeyer the problem solver I just want to remind you you know in the event you have been in a car accident here's the three things you need to do whatever and if you think of if you take the uh be the teacher mm -hmm. role for life you're the life coach you're the life teacher it's easy to create the content. You know, you it's funny. I don't that. think I've ever heard you say um, document, document versus and create. Not create, and I haven't heard you say that I failed you as a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> I failed Jedi, you. He's the, he's the, I failed you. He's the podcast. Yeah, I didn't say Jedi. I was good at, at helping. I, you know, <laughs> it's like the Jedi podcast. Yeah. Podcast Jedi. Yeah, and he failed me. I failed Luke, you. You are my father. I failed you. Yeah. So yeah, I, like, I actually like that. So document yeah. and not create. Right. Yeah. But these are good things to. While we're doing this with other people. And that's what we did yeah. tonight, right? We, we documented yes. them being here. Yes. And, you know, actually someone told me that before. So I don't know if you know who John Midiana is. He I used, don't. He used to work for uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, okay. I think he's part of still his yep. team. Okay. And one thing he taught me was document every th yeah. everything. Yeah. Any conversation you have, document it right. and then turn it into content. Right. Because this is where right. all that meat comes right. from, us talking. And for a lot of those companies that you have that are, that are here, that are, that are with you, you know, mm -hmm. year in and year out, Again, it goes back to what do I post on social media if I have a clothing boutique or a small restaurant or a nail salon or whatever, right? And the podcast solves a good piece of that. Yeah. Because if you make an hour-long podcast that's unscripted, you don't know what you're going to talk about, whatever happens, happens, now you have an hour to choose to yes. find the one minute of gold here, the one minute of gold there, the one minute of gold mm -hmm. there, and you chop that podcast into 10 to 15 smaller pieces of content that you put out over the course of the week, and then it's just wash, rinse, repeat. Next week, you do the yes. same thing with a different... Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I, I call when I do marketing like social media and stuff like that, I always call it subliminal marketing, which you do as well, which we don't realize. A lot of people you'll meet, they'll say, oh, Dave, I saw you at Resorts World. I saw you swimming with the kids. They know stuff. Even with you, I was just thinking about you, like you in D.C., mm -hmm. something with your luggage. There's mm -hmm. subliminal yep. things. Like, Did you miss a flight or something or something to flight? No, but I do a lot of documenting. So yeah. I'm traveling to D.C. for yeah. our opening of our chapter, so I'll document my husband and I walking with luggage. Yeah. So I'm more of a content person. Yeah. So I, I call it like subliminal marketing in mm -hmm. some regards because I remember, so I see her and I'm thinking all of all the other post of mm -hmm. her in DC and going yeah. and I'm also I think it's also making credibility it's social proof and stuff like that in general so that's why I kind of do but I do agree with what you're saying but anyway today I think everybody that was here they this was really great and they enjoyed it and actually we made a lot of good contacts good. and we talked about meeting you know, meeting up and discussing how we could work together and help each other and yeah. I gave some challenge that's like I, I told one guy um, if he makes the book his name was the Dave, Dave Berlin? Means, yeah, Dave, Dave Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. I said if he writes the book, he's talked about writing a book, I will buy the first hundred books. We'll do a podcast. He'll do a signing here, but I will pay for the hundred books. And he needs to give it to all veterans, you know, oh, yes. uh, for self improvement. Yes. So he, he was actually pretty pumped. I loved excited. it. That yeah. was good. So um, you're good like that. I try. I try. I yeah. love that. I try a little bit of improv. Yeah. So why don't you uh, give a plug for your next event and then how people can go register and stuff like that or the, and the membership as well? Yeah, so you just go to our website. It's socialregister.com, and there are menu tabs. You can check out the membership there and also our events. All that's coming up for next week, we have one in D.C. on the 25th. Um, it's from 6 to 9 o'clock. It's at Ship Garden inside um, the Tyson's Garden. Um, and the rest of our events are located on the events calendar as well. Um, and again, our membership starts at $29 a month if you're just trying to do virtual only. Yeah. And then we have the community and then we have the executive, which is nationwide networking. Yeah, it's great stuff. It's great. It was really good. This was really fun, fun event. So we're going to continue to work together and maybe we could work on the, you know, I, I really would love to do it because 
I'm a member. I'll pay for his membership. But if we do different verbally events, binding, verbally binding. <laughs> if you want to do the events and we go to the events and maybe yeah. bring two mics and do something. Yeah, we can I bring mean, two mics. We can bring you know, two we, or three cameras. I mean, there's you know that would be cool. So you can go anywhere. Hundred percent. Okay. Yep. You don't need any kind of setup. We bring you. it. Okay. How would that work? Because like she was at like the barbershop place at cocktails. Uh, yeah. So obviously it helps as long as like this is great because there's a room for us mm -hmm. to go. So you know you don't want to be out on the main floor. Mm -hmm. um, but even right outside the event, we could do it. We can do it outside. You okay. can do it. You know what I mean? You know, as long as there's power to plug stuff can in. We do standing yeah. with mics. Um, that little you heart? could. You could do standing with mics. That's it, like it'd it'd be better even tall if we sat at like tall round like tables or something on high boys. Like that would work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let but you could do it that. standing up. But you know, It'd be a little awkward. Then it anyway, just, just feels to too yeah. red carpety. You know, once you sit, you relax. It's yeah. just we, It's just. It's a mental Got thing it. for people. All right. Yeah. So long story short, Mary, thank you so much. You've been amazing. Thank you. And I think it was a great event. I enjoyed doing it. I always feel like we should have done more, but I think I, I feel I feel happy actually. Yeah. The amount of people that showed up. Yeah. I think it was a good event. People were happy. People were excited. Um, we'll we'll continue to work together and network and build a relationship. And I like to get uh, John more involved as well. Whatever we do to basically help out and support a social register network. Anything else you want to? Is that it? No, Anything that's all. Got? Just thank you so much for having us here. Yeah. Everybody enjoyed it. So many people complimented about your studio. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and the food. The pizza, everyone loved IDK it. IDK Pizza, yeah. Ryan Crowley. Shout out to Ryan Crowley. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Sticky Poise again, John Orlando, yes. for basically um, helping. And he's been really supportive of myself and the show. And basically, I'm looking to continue working our relationship together. Yes. So thank you so much again, Mary. Um, thanks so much, John, as well. Yeah, man. Again, I'm Dave Kohlmeyer, the problem solver. Every single week, basically, having amazing people on the show, leadership, uh, people that, that are leaders in the community that are showing leadership traits. We, we have veterans, we have all these great people, business owners, that truly, the people that are here today really want to help people um, go to the next level, whether it's uh, personal or business, they're truly trying to help people. So if there's anybody that's basically out there that's looking for help, that we can help, myself, Dave Kohlmeyer, uh, Mary with Social Register Network, same thing with John Orlando with Sticky Paw Studio, please reach out to me at 400 7474 again, 702 400 7474. I'm Dave Coma, the problem solver, and I'll see you next week. I feel like this is.